us all. Well, um, today we are about to discuss about the star and the moon, the crescent, the star and the moon on the um, various masajid. When we say masajid, various mosques. People, Santa Fe, Atakbe. Malam, the first question is: Christian for who was there? It was cross. It was so. And Christian for was there? Who the star? Ah, Abraham was there. We see this. We see this. I know. I did too. Star now. I want to see this. As it turns out. Now, where does the star and the moon come from? When um, you read the Islamic history, the star and the moon was not part of Islam. It was. It, 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 it did not exist in any significance of Islam. It does not have any significance in Islam. When Prophet Muhammad had left this world, during the reign of Sayyidina Umar, when, um, the Prophet, uh, when the companion of the Prophet sent Khalid bin Walid to go to Musayla um, Matul Qazab, to fight Musayla Matul Qazab, that was when, after killing Musayla Matul Qazab, they saw a temple in which had the star and the moon on it. They tried to remove it, they couldn't. Most people climbed and they fell and died. And they fell and died. So Sid Naomar brought idea that so Sid Naomar brought idea that look, the Christians have the cross as their symbol. And also uh, the Jews have Star of David as their symbol. So Sid Naomar brought idea that look, the Christians have the cross as their symbol. And also uh, the Jews have Star of David as their symbol. We Muslims don't have any star, we don't have any symbol that signifies our mosque. So therefore, we should use the crescent as a the crescent and the star as a symbol, symbol, symbol. So please, are you ready? Are you ready? Now, people. Santa Fe, attack me. Malam, my first question is: Christian for who was there? It was cross. It was so. And Christian for was there? Who the star? Ah, Abraham was there. We see this. We see this. I know. I did too. Star now. I want to see this. As it turns out. Star, I would say you were moon and say you were star. Star, star, I would say moon and I say I was from the high nearby. And a star, I would say, because you know how many are the high at the source, in the high upon high. So, I would say, 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 I would Star, anyway, anyone that means we are not watching the stars. But in India, for me, I'm sure said no. What the messenger brought is light. So Muhammad too has brought light. So light upon light. So we are not only in India from our own Muslim sense of fire. But in Islam, it's not there. Nice, nice. I'm here. 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 Most people climbed and they fell and died. So Sid Naomar brought idea that Sid Naomar brought idea that look, the Christians have the cross as their symbol, and also uh, the Jews have Star of David as their symbol. We Muslims don't have any star, we don't have any symbol that signifies our mosque. So therefore, we should use the crescent as a the crescent and the star as a symbol or a sign. We have a source in the high upon high. Why is the moon and star used as a symbol of Islam? In fact, Islam does not use the moon as a symbol of Islam. Does not use the crescent and the stars as symbols of Islam. This is the Islamic symbol. So they make a crescent for Muslims like a cross for uh, Christians. And David star for Jews. No. La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah is the symbol of Islam. So therefore, we should use the crescent as a... The crescent and the star as a symbol or a sign. No. La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah 
is the symbol of Islam. No. 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 So therefore, we should use the crescent as a the crescent and the star as a symbol or a sign. No. La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah is the symbol of Islam. The star and crescent, it can be found on mosques and minarets and on the national flags of many Muslim-majority countries, including Malaysia, Algeria, Tunisia, Turkey, and Pakistan. Is the star and crescent a symbol of Islam? Is there something unique about the star and crescent that explains why it is featured so prominently in Muslim societies? I'm Safiya Ali for Let the Quran Speak with the answer to your question. The star and crescent has been used as an icon since ancient times. Historians have found evidence of its use as far back to the Sumerian era, when the star symbolized Ishtar or Venus, and the moon the god Sin. Historically, it has been a very popular icon, found amongst many different peoples. The star and crescent was adopted as a symbol of the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Empire governed the Muslim world for hundreds of years, and it is through that association that the symbol of this empire became connected in people's imaginations to the religion of Islam as a whole. In which had the star and the moon on it. They tried to remove it, they couldn't. Most people climbed and they fell and died. So Sidney Omar brought the idea that, look, the Christians have the cross as a symbol of the Ottoman Empire. So Sidney Omar brought the idea that, look, the Christians have the cross as a symbol of the Ottoman Empire. The crescent moon and the star, which some people consider to be the Islamic symbol, does it actually have any basis in Islam? The short answer is no. Some people came up with it to match the David, uh, the start of David, to match the cross which the Christians have. And the Muslims at that era said, we don't have anything to show as a symbol. So they came up with the crescent and they came up with the star. And this has nothing to do with Islam. Some people came up with it. Star and crescent was adopted as a symbol of the Ottoman Empire. The so Sidney Omar brought the idea that, look, the Christians have the cross as they are symbol. No. Some people came up with it. The star and crescent was adopted as a symbol of the Ottoman Empire. The so Sidney Omar brought the idea that, look, the Christians have the cross as they are symbol. No. No.